everyone, so today we've got another unboxing video for you now. This is one of the most exciting ones, mainly because this process has taken me days and days and days of research. Now as we mentioned before, we've got a Hyundai i10. Didn't realise quite how much the boot size was going to be a difficulty in buying a travel system. In the end, we've I've gone, well we've gone for a Babylo Origin travel system. Now this I think is a Smith's own brand, it was 109 £199.99 right so just looking at it um we as I say we wanted something that we could use um with the car seat in but this is supposed to work perfectly from birth up until 15 kilos now I'm not exactly sure how old they're going to be with 15 kilos but should be walking well before then so this sort of goes from like to a pram to a push chair you put the car seat on supposed to have a lot of different heights on the handles we're both quite short so that wasn't really a worry anyway and then it's also got a little cute little window in it where you can see the baby which I thought was a nice feature and it supposedly also should work perfectly if it faces forwards so baby's looking out of the world or if it's facing you as well which was something I found quite difficult to find as well problems either do one or the other they don't do both so I'm hoping considering the very reasonable price on this it's going to do both functions very well Doesn't look like a pram. Right, so me and Claire have just finished building it. It took roughly about, I don't know, 20 odd minutes. It was a little bit fiddly, but we got there. A lot of it just clicks nicely into place. And I just want to give you a quick rundown. Nothing too hectic, otherwise this video will be really too long. This is how it's probably going to look most of the time. So the baby head goes like here. Okay, obviously you don't lift it up like that. <laughs> and then you just kind of just reel it up and down. Right, okay, first off, the wheels are really nice and smooth. It's got a nice solid brake. Um, so you can't go anywhere. Now the first thing I want to show you is just how this kind of can easily just pop up. There's just a little lever down here. Uh, you don't need to see it. It's just a simple lever. You just press it up and it just goes off like that. Okay, so now the baby's kind of like flat all the way down. So near towards the bottom are these two little buttons. Now this is easily done. Just press on both sides and you just lift it up. And you've got like a little city, city bit. And let's say, for example, you wanted to have the baby sort of facing you, you know, just so you can cue and just say, hi, how are you? How's your day? Facing you rather than facing the world. There are two little buttons on here, which you just pull up and you can just lift up. Spin it round. There you have it. The baby's now facing you. Same things apply. You can just fold it up. So you can have the baby face you. And you've got it like this. But you can't actually have it facing this way if you want to fold down the pram it has to be the other way so say so you've got the pram like this now with the baby facing outwards flat if you want to fold it down uh, first of all stick your baby out <laughs> for example this bit has to be into the pram bit so as i said before you need to just press the lever down here and fold it up obviously you'll do the leg bits as well but all it is now it's quite simple there's two little levers on the side and all you're doing is pushing them up and it folds all the way nicely down it clicks into place and then you can lift it up and that's how easy it is to put it back there's a little clip to the side you just very gently push it off and then put down on it and you just lift up Boop. and then you're ready to go again so this is what the car seat looks like uh, well what the pram looks like with the car seats on it so it's, it's dead easy just to put on it has just a simple attachments you just throw on it's just that's quite as simple as it is and you can lift it up and here you go now this is supposed to slot into the car and that's going to be on a separate video because we haven't quite got everything we need for that but we'll show you how it works but that is simply it now there's a couple of things to note firstly you can't fold this down with the car seat on it just just doesn't happen i mean you can technically start to do it but it just kind of gets stuck but realistically you wouldn't be using it like this anyway because you'd be using this as the car seat, you know, you'd be throwing this into the back of the car. Um, nothing knows you can't spin it the other way. So with the pram seat, you could uh, you could have it both ways, baby facing you, baby facing the world. But this one, it just doesn't simply go this way. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. This does actually move. It's got two little 
buttons somewhere. <laughs> um, there, we, there we go. You just you press them both in and you can move this around. So right here now you've got your little shopping carriage bit where you can put your bit of shopping or I don't know, kids toys, things like that. Um, I imagine you would need to um, take stuff out if you were going to fold it down, but they've got these little buttons on the side which just kind of pop, you can't really see on the camera, but they just kind of pop. So if you wanted to, you can just take it out um, undo the buttons and just have it like a little separate carrier bag just to throw in your car if you kind of want to keep everything intact or together for whatever reason but yeah this is the shopping bit now let's see if we can fit this in the car right okay so we just had a bit of fun putting in the car just a mental note tidy the boot of your car mine was an absolute mess um, but yeah we can actually just about fit it in we have to have the um you know the, i don't know what this bit's called of a car not good with cars we have to have this um, bit folded up um, we don't need to take it out fortunately but we do need to have it folded up for it to fit Fortunately, just because the way it's angled, we can probably still fit maybe bits and pieces, you know, not not like a whole week shopping, but maybe a bag of shopping, some milk, and it does just about fit in our little hind eye item. Just literally about, and it doesn't block the view or anything, so I can still see out the back of the car. That is, by the way, just the frame of it. It can't fit the um, the, the pram bit of it as well. Um, obviously the car seat would be put in there, but yeah, if we wanted to carry the pram bit with us, say we're going for a nice walk in the park, we'd have to put that on the back seat and hopefully it's just me and Claire. <laughs> okay, so I stand correct. Claire was actually right. You can just about fit this in. Now it's a bit of fiddling around and uh, we have to take off. I, I, I'm not going to get it out, I don't want to disturb it, but basically this is the little bar that covers the pram bit, which you hold it. We have to just take that off and just place it in and then we have to take a wheel off as well and fold it down the side you might be thinking this is a bit of faffing about but you know if you really want to take your baby down the park um it's going to be well worth doing it it does mean there's no more room around the around the um, the boot of the car um we might still end up just putting it on the back seat but if you wanted to be a bit more secure with it because um, you don't really want to have a crash and have it hit the baby or something like that so yeah it does actually fit in so clear is right uh, when i say fit in it does need a little bit of a a push but yeah it is in so thank you for watching that's the end of this unboxing video we hope you enjoyed it you found some um, value if you're interested in buying it there will be a link down below it's smith's toy store let us know what you think of it or we'll let you know if you think a pram is going to be any better or what your pram is like we've got lacy trying to jump on the box here and um, that's the thing it's not just good for your baby it's good for your cat but yeah let us know in the comments what you think sorry it's a bit of a long one but it's well worth having a look we will do another video where we actually review how it's actually gone when we've got an actual baby and what's it like you know going to city centers or going to parks uh, just basically what it's like in actual practice subscribe to see that video if this video has offered you some value give it a like it does help me and claire out and we'll hope to see you in the next video for me and claire bye bye hey, you could be